There was some shocking testimony this week before the House of Commons Immigration Committee. Now, this committee right now is tasked with examining ways to expedite the resettlement of Yazidi refugees from Iraq and Syria to Canada, since what is being perpetrated against this ethnic and religious minority by the Islamic State has finally been declared a genocide by Canada. I say finally because the Trudeau Liberals had to be shamed by the opposition Conservatives into declaring the organized rape, torture and extermination of the Yazidi people a genocide. Now this testimony, given by a Christian NGO, Samaritan's Purse, working on the ground in northern Iraq, revealed a systematic conspiracy by Muslim UN aid workers to trap Yazidis in the refugee camps. Just watch this. It's only about a minute and a half long, but it is so important. Conservative immigration critic Michelle Rempel is questioning Raya Lisa Schmidt-Teigen from Samaritan's Purse. Now, she's testifying from northern Iraq about the discrimination Yazidis face in the UN camps. Just watch. Just today, I got two reports uh, that I found disturbing. One was uh, the report of um, some of our workers visiting a refugee who had an appointment for 2021 and was told maybe not even 2021, it might be 2022. So I can confirm that that is definitely true. And it makes no sense to me why we would, why the UNHCR cannot be providing refugees. That was just for refugee status. That wasn't even for immigration. That was just for status as a refugee to be able to move forward in the immigration process. Um, the other report that I received today was from Greece, um, which was a Yazidi, um, one of our Yazidi beneficiaries commented to one of our workers that it was um, really hard for them because they were still living in Muslim context and the Muslim NGO workers that were serving them were after hours overheard calling them all sorts of names um, that Arrest you there. So this is had difficult. This is a difficult topic to discuss. And I think it got glossed over in the last committee meeting. So we had Yazidis say that they had experienced discrimination by Muslim uh, UNHCR workers. I know this is something that's very difficult for us to talk about, and I'm, I'm, but are you validating that particular comment with this anecdote? I am, yes. So the Yazidis are not being placed on the refugee lists by the Muslims working for the UN in the refugee camps. And while in the camps, the Yazidis and Christian minorities already face threats and danger from the other Muslim occupants. Yazidis and Christians are the most vulnerable people in the camps, but because of systematic discrimination, they are being given appointments for refugee intake that are five years away. That wait is a death sentence for Yazidis and the Muslim aid workers know it. Muslim workers in the camps are letting their fellow Muslims in the camps get the appointments first, even though the UN itself has declared the treatment of the Yazidis a genocide, meaning the Yazidis should be leaving the UN refugee camps first. Instead, they're being trapped and doomed to die. This evidence from Samaritan's Purse absolutely destroys a CBC story from earlier this week. CBC ran a hit piece against the former Conservative government that said an audit showed that out of 500 Syrian refugees taken in by Canada, only three were Yazidis. They used this as some sort of attack against the former Conservative government's refugee policy. Yeah, thanks for that, you Sherlock's down at the state broadcaster. That only proves that Canada was taking in as many Yazidis as they could given that the Yazidis aren't making it onto the refugee lists at all. Yazidi groups have been begging the Liberals to help them get displaced Yazidis from outside the UN refugee system. Maybe now, now that the Liberals have heard there is a conspiracy by Muslim UN refugee camp workers to discriminate against the Yazidis, the Liberals will listen and get to the Yazidis while they still can. But I'm not hopeful. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.